Welcome back and Happy New Year. So uh, on Monday uh, I was in in the morning and Jeff was in for a while as well. And so I uh, started creating this little fixture that was going to help Jeff uh, drill the holes in the ribs for the elevator uh, for where the bushings go through. So that's my little fixture there and a couple of little quarter inch pins on either end and some bushings that slide over the top of that. Uh, these are the same bushings that the elevators are going to ride on. And then that basically gets slotted into that slot there on the elevator hanger and uh, the other two holes there can be used to match drill through into the uh, hard point there in the elevator hinge so uh, that can get its bushing put in there and on friday jeff had set up these couple of samples for uh, testing out this two-part glue sort of epoxy glue that we've been using uh, for bonding things in place to see if they would work uh, well for the parachute strap covers on the roof of the aircraft. So um, he can see we're just doing a test there with the putty knife just to see how much effort it takes to start peeling it away and then uh, ultimately um, we sort of grab a hand under there and just see how much effort it takes once it gets started. It actually turned out really well so it seems like that glue is going to work uh, just right for what we need didn't take too much effort to get it started and then once it got going uh, it was good so that'll hold down the, the covers they're not going to sort of you know just peel away by themselves but when the parachute or if and when the parachute deploys uh, those covers will peel away without too many problems so uh, that's another thing sorted out and we can uh, bond those on now yeah, while I was creating that elevator fixture, Jeff uh, dis uh, disassembled the oven there around the uh, second wing. And so that one came out all right. had the same little problem as the other one where there's a little low spot there in the top surface um, of the skin because of the difference there where the core is and where the uh, spar is where there's no core. So we're going to have to fill that a little bit later on. But other than that, came out well. And onto the redrive. So that JB Weld wasn't going to hold. Um, so I came up with a solution of basically... Uh, drilling a little hole there where the JB Weld was and tapping it and then um, putting a screw in there to sort of block that channel and uh, you can see I've already done the first one there and just getting set up to drill the hole on the second side and then here's Jeff uh, drilling in these holes there for the ribs using that new little jig that I created so it didn't take him long to do that just a couple minutes and uh, the four ribs there were done and he's just doing the one side of the four plane right now just to make sure everything's working well and then I'll do the other side later on and uh, here you can see I've drilled that hole and now I've got the tap in there I'm just tapping it and this is a 440 thread that I'm tapping in there so just a nice small screw and I think it's going to do a good job to block that channel and there you can see I've got that one done and I've got the screw in there now and it just needs a little bit of work with the Dremel just on the back side there of the housing or around the back side of the screw just so it can uh, sit all the way down because uh, it was just sort of touching on the back there so let's see if you can see with the focus here and um, show you that uh, anyway so once I got that um, bedded in nicely I didn't have uh, any issue with the um, the bearing uh, sitting down on there and not contacting it and I just put a little bit of gasket sealer around the screw as well um, after I was finished there and I think it's um, gonna seal it up nicely so the oil will still get to the thrust washer but it'll come via what sort of um, comes out the side of the journal bearings there so time to assemble it again but before uh, doing the final assembly here I actually just did a, a quick assembly and then I tested it to make sure that the oil was getting to the thrust washers and it was uh, without any problems there but I also tested uh, just by sort of blowing in and actually just forcing oil into the into the feed there to make sure it wasn't just running through so there was actually quite a bit of back pressure on the whole system which is what we want um, but it did feed through so I think uh, that's all sorted out and here you can see I've got the torque wrench out and I'm talking up the bolts on the outside so I went through the process um, you know talking up the four main bolts that go on the around the uh, journal bearings and then did the eight outside bolts and you actually have to get them all torqued up to the right spec before that shaft will turn nicely if you have um, like some of them torqued and some of them not finished torqued yet um, the shaft doesn't turn as well as when everything's um, correctly torqued
And once I had that all done, it was all ready for the next step, which was to drill the holes to put in these uh, dowel pins. So I was going to do one on either side of the housing, and but that was a job for the next day. And uh, Jeff had finished um, getting these uh, second set of ribs in there, ready to be or sort of bonded in after he drilled the first set. So he's got those bonded and they can get match drilled um, on Wednesday. And a new day and a new year and I'm actually in on January 1st doing some work. So I really was wanting to get this redrive sorted out so I came in for a few hours and, and uh, got this thing done. So here you can see I'm just uh, working on drilling these holes there for um, where the uh, dowel pins are going to go through. So I had to clearance that first one there because it sort of had a slope there. I had to do it on both sides and then drill a hole on both sides just sort of diagonally opposite and then ultimately back through there with the reamer. So I did it sort of underside, less than a quarter inch hole, and then uh, went with a 0 .249 uh, reamer in there, and then ultimately got my little dowel pin there and just basically used a clamp and just pushed it in there just gently. It didn't take too much effort, but it's nice and snug. So I've got one of those on either side now, as you can see, uh, just set up there. And so this is what it took uh, to get it underway. And it won't take much effort to push that pin out just with a small bolt, a narrower bolt there uh, when it comes time to disassemble this to uh, do an inspection on the inside and see how the bearings are going because I'll definitely be doing that after doing, you know, testing the engine and doing high speed taxi before we actually go and, uh, you know, fly with this whole setup. I just definitely want to see what's going on in there. And as you can see, a little bit tricky sometimes to do stuff like this with not exactly the right tool, but uh, it didn't take that much effort with that clamp to get that in there and uh, now that those dowel pins are in the next job is to just mount this thing up on the uh, engine mount again and uh, we can actually put the new prop on and the new spinner and with the goal being there having the spinner on we can start fitting the cowling around there to make sure everything's aligned correctly and, uh, and then it won't be long and we'll be able to actually back up the uh, whole fuselage with the engine and everything uh, to the door and uh, run the engine and new prop and make sure that you know all the oil feeds and everything are working correctly so and I'm also going to order some more of those oil rings but probably out of bronze um, so they'll have a tighter tolerance than the ones that I have right now but also if they do end up getting too close to that shaft the prop shaft uh, they won't uh, cause a problem they'll just sort of wear in uh, like you'd want them to so uh, anyway yeah that's um our update for the first half of this week. Yeah, working on uh, New Year's Day. Oh well, anyway, got to get this project done. I want to have this thing ready to fly by the end of March. So, got to do it. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, tune in again on Saturday for the next update.